If you're having a bad day and you come and see I'm having a bad day, what's, what good is that going to do you? Okay, when you first look at, when you first look at this, I don't know if you'll notice, but look, you can see where one begins and the other ends, or one ends, the other begins, whatever you want to say there. See right in here, brown to white, it's right there, oh, and it's snowing, yeah. How cool is that? I just wanted to share that with you. I wonder if I can mix it up at all. This is in my e -Sig. These are two vape liquids. One has nicotine, the other does not. How odd. One obviously is white, that is the non-nicotine, and the brown one is the one with nicotine. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Whenever I put it back together, let's see if we can even mix it. I'm sure we can, but let's find out. Now, the liquids that I have in there, this is not sponsored by the way, is Jim Dandy, which I ordered was supposed to be 12, but came as a zero. Oh, so mad. And the other is Colossus. Woo! It's good too. But it does have nicotine. And it is 12. Like the other one should have been. Mm -hmm. Okay, I put it back together. As easy as I could. I don't know. Yep, it's still not. Okay, let's flip her over and see what happens. Did it mix? Indeed it did, look. Cool, well, let's mix her up a little bit and see. Yay! They let Charles Manson out of prison? Well, at least they kind of did. <laughs> okay, so if you haven't heard, because I'm sure everybody knows who Charles Manson is, obviously. If you don't, well... He had a lot of people, well, his followers, or his family, kill a lot of people. Now, I've actually gotten into debates with people before because they're like, oh, he's killed so many people. I'm like, actually, technically, no, he hasn't. He hasn't ever killed anyone. And they say, well, why is he in prison? Well, he was basically a cult leader who had all his family or his followers to kill the people. He didn't do it, but he had people do it, allegedly. So he's, you know, spending about nine life sentences. Whatever. Anyway, it's about what this little video is about. He is currently not in prison. Not on parole. I guarantee you that. But he's in the hospital. Now, he has some kind of illness, like, really bad thing, I don't know what it is, but they didn't even think he would live to be able to go to his first parole hearing. Of course, now he's like 82, 83, so they were kind of wrong. But he's probably about to die. Because he's in the hospital. I mean, you have to be in really bad shape for your, them to let Charles Manson out of prison to go to the hospital. And apparently Boo's not too happy about that either. <laughs> it's weird because right after I got done talking to you guys about Charlie Manson there, I actually found out he's back in prison. So if you were panicking while you were listening to me talk about him being out of prison, it's okay. He's back in, and I don't think he's going anywhere anytime soon. Now, after I was talking to you guys, um, Alyssa and I got ready, and she went to bed because she finally had school today, right? Well, about 4 o'clock this morning, she woke me up itching to death, okay? And I was like, it's okay, baby, you know, if I have a bug bite. Looked at her, and basically from head to toe, she had this horrible rash on her. 
Here's a picture of it. Okay, now, I did not have any Benadryl to give this child, so I used witch hazel, I used lotion, and I w was like, I don't know, I want to take you to the hospital, you know, because you're having this horrible, you know, reaction to something. <sighs> Poor grandparents, I called them about 4.35 this morning, right? And they was like, well, just hold on, I talked to my grandma, she said, put her in the bath, see if that helps, so I put her in the bath. And it seemed to help her, so I don't know if it was the witch hazel, the lotion, the bath, all the above, but it did help. Now, we got up today, took her to the doctor, and they gave her some Benadryl. So I have Benadryl in case God forbid it happens again. could not figure out what in the world caused it, though. Thinking about it, my grandma figured it out, we think. She had a new outfit that she got from Christmas. Well... She put new outfits on without them being washed a million times, but apparently, I believe, there was something in this one. And, you know, the fabric or, on the fabric or something that she's allergic to. So, if you guys ever get a new outfit, make sure you wash it first. Don't just put it on, take it from me. As a mother, I will never, ever let her wear an outfit until it's washed ever again. I want to talk about something real quick and my battery's going down so I have to do it really, really super quick. Well, there have been talk on YouTube a lot lately about happiness and whether it's genuine or not. If you've been on my channel for a little while, you know I'm not always happy. Things aren't always just superb and wonderful and great and yay! Things go bad. You've seen the thing with my grandmother in the ICU. You've seen with my mother going through neck surgery, you've seen me sick. People get sick. You've seen a lot of stuff, but at the end of the day, I don't want to have to just be that. I don't want to just show that. I want to show this stuff where Alyssa's dancing behind the camera. I want to show the good stuff. That way, if you're having a bad day, then maybe my video can make you smile or she can make you laugh. That's why I do what I do. Because, yeah, listen, I'm bipolar. <laughs> There's a shock. I have really high highs and really low lows. It's never, you know, of course I have normal days where, you know, it's not great. It's not bad. It's just... And I haven't been daily vlogging because it's not always, yay, let's go do something. And it's the same thing every day, and so I decided, okay, let me back up a little bit and see what I need to do. Because I don't want, well, one, you guys getting bored, and I don't want her. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just that, you know, it's life. We want to share with you the good stuff, that way if you're having a bad day, like I said, come watch our video, and it'll make you feel a little better, hopefully. If you're having a bad day and you come and see I'm having a bad day, what's, what good is that going to do you? I don't know. And with male depression, it's not always great. That's not what I'm talking about, you know. I'll put links in the description below. If you or someone you know is going through a really deep depression, you can get help. There's nothing wrong with that. Like I said, I'm bipolar, but I deal with it my own way. You know, because she helps me if I'm having a bad day. I can look at her and she helps me feel better. Hopefully, you guys come and watch my videos and that helps you feel better. I know I don't upload daily, but I hope that when I do upload, it makes you feel good. And makes the day go, or at least seem a little better, at least for those moments that you're watching my video. I don't, or at least I try not to put on this fake thing like everything's always awesome. And the glass is always, not even half full, it's always just full, and it's rainbows and butterflies, and... No, it's not. <sighs> At the end of the day, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. If not, remember, in time, this too shall pass. That's why I always say that, because even if you are having a bad day, it will pass. Things will get better, I promise. Yeah. I promise things will get better. Please like this video, subscribe, 
join the family. Share this video if you really like it. And she and I will see you next time. Yeah! I hope you guys don't take what I was talking about the wrong way. It's just Felix has talked about it. Casey talked about it. Philip DeFranco talked about it. And I figured I'd put my two cents in on it. Because it's something that really affects a lot of people. <laughs> so, yeah.